adrenal tumor types and treatment options. Anatomy and function of adrenal gland. Adrenal glands are hormonal organs, located on the top of your kidneys on both sides. They are composed of inner medulla and outer cortex. The inner medulla of adrenal gland produces hormones, such as epinephrine and norepinephrine better known as adrenaline, which regulate your blood pressure as well as heart function. The adrenal cortex produces steroid hormones, such as glucocorticoid, mineralocorticoid, and androgens. Glucocorticoid regulates your sugar metabolism and immune function. Mineralocorticoid, such as aldosterone, regulates fluid volume, blood pressure, and certain electrolytes in your body. Androgens, such as DHEA serve as a precursor to testosterone and promote normal development and masculinization in male. Different types of adrenal tumors and characteristics Adrenal mass may represent a primary tumor arising from an adrenal tissue, or a secondary tumor that has spread from other parts of the body from a metastatic cancer. Primary adrenal tumor can be further distinguished as a functional versus non-functional tumor, based on whether it produces any hormones. Both functional and non-functional adrenal tumors have risk of being cancerous or malignant, depending on its size and imaging findings. Most of the adrenal tumors are benign and non-functional. They are often found incidentally, from an imaging test for other health problems. Therefore, these adrenal tumors are often referred as incidental lomas. Only about 10 to 20 percent of adrenal tumors are functional. Another 10 to 15 percent are adrenal myelolipoma or ganglioneuroma. Adrenal cortical cancer is rare accounting for only about 5 percent. Functional tumor. Functional adrenal tumor can cause various syndromes depending on the hormone it produces. A glucocorticoid-producing tumor may cause Cushing's syndrome, whereas an aldosterone-producing tumor will cause Akans syndrome. Adrenaline-producing tumors cause pheochromocytoma. Diagnoses are often made by checking your blood and urine levels of various hormones. Cushing's syndrome. Cushing's syndrome is caused by a cortisol-producing tumor from the adrenal gland, which leads to deranged metabolism in your body, including elevated blood glucose level, high blood pressure, obesity, buffalo hump, round face, facial hair and abdominal stretch marks. It is important to note that the Cushing's syndrome is different from Cushing's disease, where the tumor is located in the pituitary gland near the base of your brain. Kahn's syndrome. Overproduction of aldosterone leads to high blood pressure, secondary to sodium and fluid retention. Also, aldosterone can cause low potassium in your blood which may lead to muscle weakness and spasm as well as heart arrhythmia. Pheochromocytoma Pheochromocytoma is caused by an adrenaline-producing tumor in the inner layer of adrenal gland. And an overproduction of adrenaline hormones cause episodic spells with heart palpitation, sweating, anxiety and headache, associated with sudden episodes of high blood pressures not functional tumor since non functional tumor do not produce hormone they do not cause any symptoms and are often found incidentally during an imaging test metastatic tumors these tumors are secondary to metastatic process from a cancer from other parts of the body common sources for metastatic adrenal mass are cancers from lung stomach,
kidney, and pancreas. Adrenal tumor management. Surgical management. There are two main reasons for surgical management of adrenal tumors. For overproduction of hormones in functional tumors, and for risk of cancer. For functional adrenal tumors surgical resection is the primary treatment, where removing one side the adrenal gland containing the tumor, eliminates overproduction of hormones and associated syndrome. In case of non-functional adrenal tumors surgery may be recommended, based on the size and the risk of cancer, as a diagnostic and therapeutic treatment. Surgical treatment is very effective for Cushing's and pheochromocytoma in over 90% of the patients. In aldosterone-producing tumors 80% of patient, experiences complete normalization of blood pressure, without any medications while the rest of 20% also benefits with reduced blood pressure medication requirement. Likewise, clean surgical resection is the only curative treatment for adrenal cancer patients, leading to improved overall survival and outcome. For patients with an isolated metastatic cancer spread to the adrenal gland, surgery has shown to render a survival benefit. Indications and surgical management for your adrenal disease will be tailored to the individual. There are different surgical approaches for adrenal gland. Adrenal gland can be approached from the front or the side of the abdomen. Using the traditional open approach via making an incision along the rib cage or using a minimally invasive technique with a laparoscopic tools via a 3 to 4 small incisions. Also, adrenal gland may be approached through the back, without entering the abdominal cavity, known as the retroperitoneal approach. Both open and minimally invasive approaches, can be utilized for retroperitoneal approach as well. In general, Large tumors or tumors with high suspicions for cancer will require open approach, whereas most of the surgeries for small functioning tumors are performed via minimally invasive approaches. Medical treatment. Medical treatment is an essential component of patient care for an adrenal disease, before and after the surgery. Appropriate medical therapy is needed for functioning tumors to improve the symptoms and the safety of the operation. Also in certain cases of adrenal tumors not amenable to surgical cure, medical therapy can be offered to ameliorate the symptoms. Cushing's Syndrome In case of a Cushing's Syndrome, sudden decrease in cortisol level due to surgical resection, can be dangerous. Therefore, Patients often take supplemental steroid pills for several months, or until the unaffected adrenal gland starts to function normally, at which point you no longer require any steroid supplement. Attempts to reduce cortisol production or adrenal function are often not necessary prior to the surgery. Kahn's Syndrome Patients with aldosterone-producing tumors often require multiple classes of antihypertensive medications. Once the tumor is resected, you may no longer require, or have reduced requirement for medical treatment. Furthermore, patients with low potassium may require potassium supplements or special medication, to improve your potassium level. In rare cases of aldosterone tumors involving both adrenal glands, medical therapy is the standard treatment. Pheochromocytoma Titration of medication to control the blood pressure and the heart rate, is very important for patient with pheochromocytoma, to reduce the risk of unsafe hypertensive crisis, before and during the operation. Your medical treatments usually start immediately, once the diagnosis is established few weeks prior to the operation. And after the surgery, medical treatment should discontinue. 
Adrenal Cortical Cancer Adrenal cortical cancers are usually functional and often produce multiple hormones. Based on the hormonal profile patients will need medical management. Advanced cancer patients with unresectable disease, who are symptomatic due to hormonal production will require medical therapy, as well as treatment to decrease or minimize tumor burden. Risks of untreated functional adrenal tumors. Cushing's syndrome. Excessive glucocorticoid will lead to metabolic derangement, obesity, hypertension, and vascular disease which can be life-threatening. Kahn's syndrome. Excessive aldosterone will lead to refractory hypertension, despite being on multiple classes of blood pressure medications, and the patient will be at elevated risk for cardiovascular disease, such as strokes, peripheral vascular disease and heart attacks. Pheochromocytoma Excessive catecholamines can lead to life-threatening hypertensive crisis, as well as heart failure and other cardiovascular disease, including strokes and heart attacks. Furthermore, about 10 to 20 percent of pheochromocytoma harbor malignancy. Therefore, for risk of cancer and to prevent hypertensive crisis, it is very important to have surgical resection of pheochromocytoma. Adrenal cortical cancer Adrenal cortical cancers are fast-growing and aggressive. And therefore, early diagnosis and clean surgical resection is paramount for improved survival. Locally invasive or metastatic diseases are associated with poor prognosis. Early diagnosis and timely treatment is very important for adrenal mass suspicious for cancer. Metastatic cancer for certain types of metastatic cancers, surgical resection of an isolated metastatic spread to adrenal gland has shown to confer survival benefit. This concludes the educational video on adrenal tumors and treatment options. As such, adrenal tumors are highly specialized diseases, entailing challenges in both diagnosis and treatment. Optimal diagnosis and treatment options must be tailored to each individual, based on the symptoms and various test results for best outcome. Thank you for paying attention.